To get started with Sample Tank 3, you first need to enter some basic settings for your system. Click the gear icon at the upper right to open the settings window so you can set the disk path for your sound library and choose your audio and MIDI settings. First, set the disk path. This is the location of your Sample Tank 3 sound library. The default setting is User, Documents, IK Multimedia, Sample Tank 3. You can keep the sound library there or put it in another location, such as on an external hard drive. You'll need at least 34 gigabytes for all of the factory sounds, and of course more if you want to add expansion libraries or import your own sounds. If you run out of disk space on the current hard drive, you can change the disk path at any time here in the settings window. Just click Browse to set a new location. Once you make the change, Sample Tank 3 will automatically scan your library to keep track of the files at their new disk path. Next, click the Audio MIDI tab to set up how the standalone version of Sample Tank 3 will integrate with your system. First, select your audio interface under Device. If your audio interface has more than one output pair, select which output pair you want to use here under Output. Now set the sample rate. 44.1 or 48K are generally good rates to use. As with most virtual instruments, the higher sample rates will give you better quality but will use significantly more CPU power. If you have a powerful computer and insist on the best possible audio quality, then go for these higher rates. The audio buffer determines the amount of latency between when you press the key and Sample Tank 3 makes it sound. Lower values provide less latency. In fact, at 128 or lower, you can hardly detect any latency at all, but this speed uses more CPU power. Higher values create a longer delay, more latency, but are easier on the computer's CPU. 256 to 512 are generally good in-between settings for a balance of low latency and CPU efficiency. Finally, set which controller will play Sample Tank 3 with the MIDI in menu. You will see all available MIDI controllers here. Choose a specific controller or just leave it at any for Sample Tank 3 to respond to any incoming MIDI data. Note that when you use Sample Tank 3 as a plugin, the host will take care of these settings, so the audio MIDI tab simply doesn't appear in the plugin version. Now you're ready to load some instruments and play some sounds.